Now, February is Black History Month here in the United States, a time to pay tribute to the history of African Americans. Several cities have built museums highlighting the civil rights movement of the 1950s and 60s. VOA's Chris Simpkins has more. Birmingham, Alabama was a battleground in the struggle of African Americans for equality in the early 1960s. The Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. and others led peaceful demonstrations. But some marches turned violent when police used fire hoses and dogs against the demonstrators. Many people were wounded, thousands were arrested. The images galvanized support for the bid to end racial discrimination. Nearly 50 years later, people come to Birmingham Civil Rights Institute to learn about the battles for civil rights in the U.S. South. William Revel travels several hours to see the museum. Black people need to know their heritage. They need to know where they came from. They need to know the price that our people paid for us to be where we are today. It came with a price. Unfortunately, with that price meant that a lot of our people died. This is an extremely important artifact at the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute. Lawrence P. Joe is president of the museum. He showed off the actual jail cell door that once kept Martin Luther King behind bars. P. Joe says it was in this cell that Dr. King wrote his famous letter from Birmingham jail. The essay became the clearest justification of the civil rights protest. And it's important that we have this institution here so that people, not only in this country, but people come from around the world to learn about what happened in Birmingham and how uh, the movement here in Birmingham has had a positive impact on race relations around the world. Multimedia presentations, photographs, and artifacts are used to document the African-American struggle. Anne-Marie Wilson is visiting from London. We have heard that Alabama has been very significant in the integration process, but also had a lot of pain along its journey, and I wanted to see what I could learn from that, to see how peaceful demonstrations can it enable a diverse population to live side by side in harmony. Vernon Roberts from New Jersey says the exhibits bring back powerful memories. It kind of got emotional for me and it gave me the opportunity to want to bring more of my family, especially to have my children here so that they can see the struggle that took place. Last year, the Birmingham Civil Rights Institute attracted thousands of visitors. The hope is that even more will come this year as interest grows in civil rights and its history. Chris Simpkins, VOA News, Birmingham, Alabama.